Welcome to Crafting at Home with OC Public Libraries. Today we will be showing you how to make an embroidery portrait out of a printed photograph. For your supplies, you'll need an embroidery hoop, some light colored fabric that's slightly larger than your hoop, some dark embroidery floss, a needle, a pencil, a marker, scissors, and tape, a copy of your portrait printed onto paper, and some blank paper. Your first step is to create a pattern by tracing your photo. It can be helpful to outline your photo in black marker ahead of time, and then also trace your embroidery hoop onto your blank sheet. Then tape your photo onto a bright window and layer your blank sheet over that with the circle centered on the photo and trace over the dark lines that you wanna use for your embroidery portrait. In order to trace your pattern onto your fabric, you need to put your fabric into your embroidery hoop with the right side facing down. Now with your pattern taped to the window, you can press your fabric flush against the pattern and trace on the right side with pencil. And this will be the pattern that you will embroider over. Now that you have your pattern on your fabric, you can flip your fabric over again so that it's right side up and you're ready to embroider. Most embroidery floss is six threads wound together. Depending on the width of your stitch, you're gonna separate out some of those threads. For back stitch, we're gonna use about two feet of embroidery floss and only two of the threads. I'm going to demonstrate how to do the back stitch here by stitching along this ear. Now the first step you're going to do is to come up through the back of the fabric just a little bit beyond where you want your line to start. That's step one. And then step two is to go back down through the fabric um, at the beginning of the line. And then step three is to move farther along the line and come back up through the fabric. And step four is to go back down through the fabric at the same spot, spot where you started at step one. And if that sounds complicated, just kind of watch the pattern. It's a little bit simpler than it sounds. For satin stitch, like back stitch, we're gonna use about two feet in length of embroidery floss, but with back stitch, we used two threads to keep it nice and thin, and we're gonna use three threads for the satin stitch to make it a little bit thicker. Now, satin stitch is a fill stitch, which is going to fill in the entire area of the nose. And I start by coming up through the bottom right and then going directly across and going back down through the fabric on the left. And then I'm gonna move up just one tick and come up on the right again and then go straight across and come down on the left. And you just fill in the entire nose that way. It gives you a nice, smooth, filled in area of embroidery. Here's how my pattern looks now that I've finished with the embroidery. I've just done back stitch on all of the lines. I've done slightly longer stitches for some of the areas like the whiskers and the eyebrows. And then I used satin stitch to fill in the pupils on the eyes and the nose. Now to prepare your project to hang on the wall, you're just gonna cut off any excess fabric around the hoop. And then you're gonna take a needle and thread. This can be a single strand of your embroidery floss or just any kind of sewing thread. And you need just about enough to go around the circumference of the hoop. And now you're going to do a running stitch through all of this excess fabric. So a running stitch is the simplest kind of stitch. You just go into the fabric, about a half inch later, come back out, half inch later, go back in, and you're gonna go all the way around the hoop using this running stitch. Once you've gone all the way around the hoop, you can tie the two ends of your thread together, the end that you started with and the end that's currently attached to your needle, knot those together and pull it nice and tight and that will gather all of the fabric behind the hoop. And there you have your finished embroidery portrait. Now obviously this project leaves a lot of room for customization and making it your own. So if you'd like to learn more, check out our Hoopla and Overdrive collections for eBooks on embroidery and other craft ideas. Until next time, thank you for crafting at home with OC Public Libraries.